welcome back to my channel. I have just finished packing the kids' hand luggages. We're going away next Wednesday, but by the time this is up, maybe we're already gone. Depends when my scheduling is. So I thought I'd go through now before I put it finally all away in their hand luggages, ready to go. Let's go. So I have the same hand luggages from last year. These are the IT luggage. My mum got them in the car boot sale, but you can get IT luggage, hand luggages from Matalan at the minute. They've got different designs on them, but I love that they can match and they're really, really cute and they've got so many pockets inside. So just to show you how much space there is, the first compartment's on here and it's the whole length of this. There's another one on the side if you needed to put like earphones or anything in there, maybe a juice bottle. Then on the inside it's got a pot pocket in here which I just keep its spare tissue in. It's then got this pocket. It's then got this netting that goes over the top so if you just needed to go in here you don't need to risk all of this falling out. Which I think is brilliant with kids because you always have these little itty bitty things that just go everywhere. And then this also unzips so you can put it in the washing machine in case it gets dirty in the corners or anything like that. Then I've got the kids iPads loaded full of games and videos. I've got a movie on Miles's to keep him going. And yeah these are just um, Apple iPads and then this case is from Amazon, really cheap, it's got a handle to it and then you can also turn it into a stand so they don't actually have to hold on to the iPad the whole time. It's just really, really cool. To go with the iPads, I picked up these from Primark. They were £6. They've got loads of different colours um, and they're perfect for Ella. We tested them out. They're the right size. And then Miles has his ones. These were from Argos about three years ago and they got the different height on them. These are about £15, which is why we went for these ones. <laughs> So we don't really mind if they break on the way back. Um, but yeah, we've got the headphones to go with them. Next is these. I'm so excited for them to try. They're water sprayers. So you fill the water in there and then you spray with this. And it's also a fan. <sighs> so it's going to be brilliant while we're waiting for buses or anything like that on the holiday. And I just think they're really, really cute. This is a unicorn, this is a dragon, and they're from Home Bargains. Okay, then we've got our juice bottles. These are empty ones. They're from the pound shop. Ella's got princesses, and Miles has got superheroes. And yeah, we're just going to fill them up with water or juice, depending on what time of day it is when we get there. Um, we are going for a morning flight, so I've got them some plain Cheerios each. That'll keep them going snack-wise. And then a chocolate bread, one for the plane ride there, one for the plane ride back. Same with fruit raisins, um, yogurt raisins, <laughs> fruit raisins. <laughs> uh, one for the there, one for the one back. And again, one there, one back. And then the same with Ella as well. So that'll keep them all full up. We don't want anyone moaning saying they're hungry. Miles has got a bag of his goodies. These are just little action figures that I found in his junk drawer. And then Ella's really into her animals, so I picked up some of their favourite animals in there. So they've got like something to do on the plane. Miles is getting into games lately, so we tried him out with Uno a couple of weeks ago and he loved it, so I've hidden them away so he doesn't keep playing with them and ruining them. Um, and yeah, they're gonna go on the plane ride, so we have something to do. We've also got a pack of playing cards, mostly for me and Ash, really, um, but they're Pokemon ones, so Miles absolutely loves them. Then I picked up these. Um, you can get them in the pound shop. This was a silly present um, for Ash about three years ago, which is why it says odorless drafts, because <laughs> he's a bit of a trumper. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see how Miles does with that, because he, yeah, he's getting into his game, so. I thought it might be a good one for him to try. Um, this is just another bag of goodies my mum picked up. It's a surprise pack for him, so we'll see what's in there. So then we've got some roll-up pencils, some pens, uh, different things in there for him. A Lego magazine with some puzzles in and word searches and stories. We've got a blank book so he can do some doodling, um, maybe noughts and crosses, hangman, anything like that in there. He really, really loves Where's Wally, so we've been going through circling um, where all of the Wallies are and stuff. So we're going to give that more of a go. He's got a sticker book with loads of Marvel heroes in that he can decorate and doodle and things like that. 
onto Ella's side and she has some crayons. This was amazing. This was a bag of 40 from the pound shop. So she's got loads in there. Um, her little Peppa Pig colouring in book that she's already started a few months ago. Some princess stickers, a fairy colouring in book and a, a sticker farm. I think this is a reusable one. Is it? I'm not sure, but it was £2.50 from the works. And they've got hundreds and hundreds of stickers in there. So she can decorate all the different farms on the front. I think that is everything. So now I need to put them all in there, ready to go. And I'm very, very excited. And that is all of it nicely put in there. How good is that? And then this folds over, like I said before. And then there's also space in here for like tissues or anything. Perfect! Nice and lightweight too. Ella is now big enough that she can pull it along herself. And they're just a really, really nice size. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. I'll keep all the information in the description box so you can see where things are from. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!